This is Larry Bonarato from LarryOnLearning.com, and this is your Morning Minute. Who was that masked man? In the mid-20th century, a radio program aired featuring a masked lawman. That fictional character was dubbed the Lone Ranger. This lawman, along with his trusted Indian partner, roamed the American plains arresting outlaws, bringing them to justice. This character was loosely based on Reeves, a real U.S. Marshal in the 1800s. Reeves was born a slave in Arkansas in 1838. The family moved to Texas several years later with their owners. As a teenager, he escaped, fleeing into Indian territory. This was the area where five Indian tribes from the eastern states had been relocated. It is now the state of Oklahoma. Reeves fought for the Union during the Civil War. After the war, now a free man, he relocated to Arkansas, married an Indian woman, and became a farmer. Indian territory there and then was where criminals fled to avoid capture. It was 75,000 square miles inhabited primarily by Indians, outlaws, and prairie dogs. Reeves' farm was very close to Indian country. Many of the U.S. Marshals who were assigned to that area to capture criminals sought out Reeves as a guide because he knew the territory well, could speak two Indian languages, and was a terrific marksman. His skills were quite valuable. Plus, his six foot two inch frame also made him a very intimidating man. Judge Isaac Parker, the hanging judge, was assigned to Fort Smith, Arkansas in 1875. He commissioned Reeves as a U.S. Marshal. Reeves, however, could not read nor write. However, his skills, coupled with his tenacious dedication to his job, enabled him to capture over 3,000 outlaws charged with everything from bootlegging to murder. During his law career, he also killed 14 outlaws who resisted arrest. His toughest assignment was to arrest and bring in his own son. His son was charged with the death of his wife during a domestic dispute. Reeves, who was dedicated to his duty, brought in his son, who was convicted and sent to prison. Reeves was celebrated as the most famous and effective lawman of the time. His efforts were lauded in many newspapers, while reporting on his tenacious ability to track down criminals and bring them to justice. He served as a lawman until 1907 when Oklahoma became a state. Reeves had secured his place in American history. He was born a slave, escaping into Indian territory where he learned the language. He fought for the Union in order to earn his freedom. He served as a guide for others, going to the frontier to capture outlaws. Reeves was then appointed as a U.S. Marshal in the lawless West. He accomplished all this despite being black, his troubled youth, being a former slave, and his inability to read and write. Bass Reeves was the original Lone Ranger. The TV Lone Ranger was white, wore a mask, and required an Indian guide. The real Lone Ranger, Bass Reeves, was a black man, a former slave, who needed neither mask nor Indian guide. He was a real American hero. So I ask again, who was that masked man? And that is today's Morning Minute.